Hi. I would like to introduce a new term into society, a new phrase. So people talk about ableism, right? And my work in not just social work, but my work in the deaf community, I have seen ableism and it's, it's not that it's just discriminatory and it's not that it's just annoying or hurtful or abusive, but ableism can be outright deadly in its more extreme forms. So I just want to introduce a little concept and see where it goes, but the idea of electromagnetic ableism. I just saw a post about ableism in terms of like ADHD. You know, people think that when you have ADHD that it's a personal failing and they don't really see it as a disability. People don't see my condition as a disability at all, at all. They see it as an annoyance. They see it as a social weird quirk. They see it as all sorts of things except for a disability, a chronic environmentally caused disability. And so when I am told things like, well, just, just ignore, just, just ignore it. Just, you know, can't you get a shirt or something? Well, you know, anything except behavior change around me, behavior change like turning on airplane mode, taking out your earbuds, <laughs> things like that. Anything but behavior change and holding the FCC and various manufacturers accountable is what people will do. They will do anything but those two things. And that is ableism, to put all of the responsibility onto me. Why haven't you moved? Have you looked into living on a farm? What about this pendant? What about that? What -da 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 -da? And it's all on me. The onus is always on me. Somehow I have to change. Somehow I have to find money to move to a different fucking country. Somehow I have to do all of this stuff, none of which is accessible <laughs> at all. And that expectation of me is ableism. I would go so far as to say that it is complicit abuse, actually, but that's a separate video. So I just want to introduce that idea into the collective, as it's called, into the world. Environmental uh, hazards inhibit and disable people. That's not the person's fault. And when that person goes and tries to hold those entities accountable for, hey, like, what the fuck? You're, you know, fucking me up in my health and all that. Those entities are immune. You cannot put that on the person. The system is designed to fuck us over. The electrosensitives of the world are designed, the electrosensitive situation is designed to fuck people like me over. So electromagnetic, uh, you know, radiation, something I don't have any control over. And yet I'm the one who's expected to do all these things that I've been doing, by the way, for the past 20 years at the expense and the sacrifices and losses in my own life. Even something as simple as paying my bills requires me to harm my own body. So please check out my Ko-Fi. I have a whole video coming about the top five things I hate about being electrosensitive. And what would help me the most is if you checked out my Ko-Fi and merch and is if you shared my content. So share this video, you know, share an upcoming video, whatever. But those two things. And I want everyone to start thinking seriously about this idea of electromagnetic ableism, because the more and more and more and more and more invasive all this tech becomes, the more people are going to wish that they caught on to this earlier, because by the time they have embedded haptics all in their fucking nervous system, it's going to be too late. And people like me by that point will probably be dead. So, because I know I can't survive that. 
So anyway, help me help the world. Check out my Ko-Fi, check out my merch, and share this content. And think on what I've said. Thank you.